Welcome back for the Mobile Gaming Fanatics. I'm my time, this is Top Drives. And you have just seen at the start of this video, that was my 701 day reward for playing this game. Yes, the carbon fiber wasn't maybe what I would have wanted. In fact, it's actually nowhere near what I would have wanted. But still, I'm not gonna complain because it is a free carbon fiber, a little bit of fused material. Everything is good, Mwah, bellissimo, okay? Happy with that, happy with free stuff. And I've kind of decided I need to do a video now on the back of a few things. But one of those is a very kind message left in my comment section from Craig Rodriguez, sorry, who said, is everything okay? Basically not been around for a while. Hope everything's all right. And yes, Craig, everything is fine. Thank you very much for asking. It's more my own reasoning for me not being on the game. Part of it is the game itself, which I will come onto in a moment. Part of it is me being a bit lazier and doing other things. But now I do think it's time for me to pull my finger out and start getting back to where I want to be and things I want to do. So I am going to be working on that. And that's going to be the emphasis for today's video. A few points around the game, what I think it could do to be better, and also the events, etc. going on now. So let's jump into that first of all. First thing I want to say is what could be done to make the game better, easy things. Well, I honestly, honestly, honestly still believe, and I have said this before, I've said it in a previous video, but the game could benefit now that they have different mechanics in the game to show you the cars in the game, etc. You can see every single car here, every single image. There is no reason, in my opinion, why they don't introduce collection rewards. So, for example, as soon as you collect a car, you get a certain number of points it can obviously be scaled where you get the most points for collecting super rare car uh, more cars for say a super rare card and and then a rare car etc etc obviously legendary cars giving you the biggest biggest amount of points possible and once you hit certain certain numbers like the trophies once you hit a certain number you get rewards you get rewards and in that way when people collect cars they that they maybe aren't going to use they can be happy if it's the first time they got them because it will go towards their collection reward point they don't want that car they sell it no problems all we need to have here is a different background for example the car stays shaded out but there's a red or green or blue outline if you've owned the car if you haven't owned the car it stays like it is now something like that it could be a green dot up in the corner if you've owned the car if you've still got the car in your garage yep it stays like this green dot highlighted so you know you have it and it's in your garage if you did have it but you've got rid of it let's just say for some reason you had the Peugeot 905B and you deleted it it would have a green dot but it would be shaded out like this to let you know you've already collected the points for having the car in your garage, but you no longer own the car. Because obviously people don't want to have to hold on to all their cars to keep the points because there's going to be a lot of lower ranked cars that you're not going to want to hold on to. So for me, that would help. That would help content creators because it would give us something else to talk about and players. And if they're going to do that, they can go further and introduce car images. Car images. So for example, it can be done over time you start to introduce new car images and people can swap them. I mean, it happens a lot in other games with skins and stuff where people have different costumes for characters in many collecting games. You can do the same here. Just pick any car, it doesn't really matter. We'll just pick this Lamborghini. We've got it in yellow here. You can also have it, say, at a different angle, maybe in red. You might have three or four pictures of it. They can go out as rewards in events. You know, top tier gets the special one to it. You know, you some go into the shop they can be bought in the shop through cash in-game currency something like that just so people can customize their garage and customize some of the cars now obviously i know it would take a long time to get every single cars to have a different image i'm not saying that but it can be worked over and the lower cars as well you know the super rares etc the ultra rares the rares the cars that people kind of use every day have alternative ones for those it's just something nice to spice the game up to make people's garages look better and give people a little bit of customization are also offering another form of re reward in events and another thing that people will potentially save up for to buy in game especially if it's different images for cars that they really like or brands that they really like that's just me banging on about that again but i honestly think those two things would make the game more fun 
and interesting for people and are more likely to encourage people to keep picking up the game and playing it. Now on that note about picking up the game and playing it, something which kind of sparked an idea for me was from in the comments again when I was speaking to somebody else, Nathan Wright, hope you're doing well my friend. He made a comment that made me think and it's part of the reason why I haven't been playing the game as much recently. But what happens if you end up in a bracket or in an event where you can't do particularly well? Now, I've only just started this, okay? You'll see it on here. Uh, I don't even know what team I was using. I think that's my Bentley Good Life team. So let's just say hypothetically, okay, you come and you pull out a team for an event and you do bad, yeah? So you can tell you're not going to get any of the good prizes in the event. You've got no chance of getting anything that you want. Are you going to bother to log in and play the game? No. There's not the incentive, there's not the motivation. You don't have the drive to log in and make sure you play your games every few hours. You kind of just leave the game for the course of the weekend, logging in here and there to play one or two matches and leave. Now, if you've got, say, two events up that you're struggling with, there's even less incentive for you to pick up the game and play it. When people don't pick up the game, they're not buying stuff from the shops, they're not watching ads, they're not checking car packs, etc., limited time packs, and thinking, oh, actually, yeah, that's really good. I really want some Bentley carbon fibers. Let me let me get some, let me put some credit online, let me buy it. Oh, I need some slots, let me buy those. They're missing out on offers and everything. Whereas if you gave them participation rewards, so regardless of how you do, once you complete X number of races, say 25, you know, 50, and then 75, whatever it be, we can just pick for example, you get some form of reward back. Then you don't only collect whatever you get in your rank, you also collect rewards for doing races. Now, whether you win or lose the race is irrelevant. The whole point is that people would then potentially be more likely to play the events that they don't do well in because they're still gonna get something else out of it. They may think, as long as I can play my 50 races, I'm going to get another 30,000 cash, you know, 10 gold, for example. If I manage to play, say, 75 races or so, I get a free ceramic pack. So you know what? I don't care if I end up with 10 victories and, you know, 65 defeats. If I've managed to get the races in, the few victories I've had, I'll be getting some ball pulls anyway. So that'll be a few extra bits that I wouldn't have got because I wouldn't be playing the event. Plus, I'm going to get a ceramic at the end of it. Plus, I'm going to get a bit of extra cash from the way. And they could just be down here in a little trophy. You know, once you collect it, you once you've done, you know, 25 races, you click on it here. The reward goes into your into your bank, and you carry on. It tells you the 50 and the 75. That's just an example, but definitely, definitely something that could easily be introduced that I think would help for players that play it a lot anyway it's just extra rewards but for those casual players or people that find themselves drifting out of many events because their garages aren't quite as developed and as extensive as some of the other players they've been grouped with it at least gives them some extra rewards so that's coming over that idea for now two things I wanted to put out there that possibly you agree with me if you do let me know in the comment section below because I really do hope that some people in Hutch will eventually see these kind of ideas and will at least think about implementing them or to discuss you know the advantages and disadvantages of those kind of things being in the game but what we have going on now from an event wise is the challenge which is getting us the new alfa romero spider which we will come on to in a moment it's got the s2 here so everyone you want to try and get this during the week to get you into the weekend event as well and on top of that we have two events now i did poorly in the most recent prelims i did poorly most recent qualifiers and finals okay i didn't really bother to play my german garage is not strong enough to do well in such events so that's another reason why i was kind of sitting out the game and again calls on for me to think of something like participation rewards or something else to get people in on times when it's not in their uh, in their favor when events are running that is just me. I wasn't on it partly because of that. Yes, there's other reasons as well. But this time, I look at this and I think, okay, two events. One which I need to get involved in and actually see if I can do well or not in, and one that I am doing well in. So why am I doing well in this one? Well, 
I'm doing well or okay. As you see, I haven't exactly played a lot, but it is Bentley and Great Exhibition. And here is the team I was working. Fortunately, because I spent a lot of time when Great Exhibition come out, buying the packs and the cars, etc., I have enough in my garage that I should be able to put out a team. Now, not necessarily the best team, as we can see here, but a half decent team. Now, the Hulk isn't maxed out, but he's close to being maxed out, okay? Not too far away. I haven't done any work really on this Bentley here, the 24, but it is still a legendary car. I've got the maxed out GT Coupe here. I've almost maxed out this Flying Spur. It's got one more level to go. and. I was running a maxed out Super Legera. However, I feel I can probably change that and I can bring in the short tail. Now, I don't know which of these two is the better to have in. Now, I was going with Aston Martin because of the twistiness, etc. Uh, the Bentleys have the four wheel drive capabilities. So that's got the rain sorted. I don't know. I kind of think that this is this is close, but let's just let's just come and do. We'll do one match anyway. Uh, as you see, I have lost some this could be a match that i end up losing so maybe i will wish i'd checked who i was playing first but anyway so as we come to do this let's do something like um hopefully g-force uh, what which way am i doing this uh no, reset 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 so we go one we go, we're gonna lose this. We're gonna go two, we're gonna go three. So yeah, there's quite a few people at the top that have decent cars, okay, that have some decent Bentleys. Now the first five or six matches seem to be quite easy until obviously it filled up and then we started to see people with strong teams. Now, if we have a look at Giovanni, for example, very quickly here, let's come up and see what he is running. Uh, okay, so again, very, very tough here for me. Very tough, this on the quarter mile, half mile. I can beat that with a short tail. Um, I can beat this, I can beat this, lose. I'm gonna lose here, so it's tough. Uh, again, we're in that same kind of situation here, aren't we? Tough. Let's try it. This guy hasn't had a defeat yet. Let's see if we can inflict one on him. So the short tail, is it better on a quarter mile? Is it better on a half mile? We'll come back to that. I'm feeling... I'm feeling... We go... This one here, this one here. Pray they're both victories. Because if they are both victories, I can try and win. It's lighter, it's got more peak. I can try and win here, here, and just take the defeat on the fast circuit. This might might work out for us. Let's see, because I've got a victory here. Okay, 50 points, good. This needs to be a victory, which it should be at the end. Oh, just about, just about. Yeah, I needed it to be obviously a long, slightly longer. The half mile would have been a bit more comfortable, but that's good. That is good. This one now is a tie. Okay, I would accept that's perfectly fine. Happy with that. We just don't want to get destroyed too much here. And it's down to the last race. So we are about to inflict the first defeat up on top drives, whatever the number is. So there we go. Lovely. Now, as you can see, my team could easily be beaten there as well. So it is a case of when you are the person who is playing against the team that is already set up, you do have the advantage of being able to obviously move your cars around to help you, as you saw then, potentially sneak out, eke out a victory rather than a defeat. So could I finish in the top two here? Probably. I have beaten 
both of these two people now and it would involve me playing a lot of matches to try and squeeze in there am i going to no if i'd have been on the game a bit more possibly but unfortunately i haven't been on so i'm not even going to go in here and show you the roof rtr at the moment because i said i've literally only played a few games and these defeats have all been when i've been offline so i need to come and have a look have a proper look at the kind of cars that i've got let's have a look very quickly and see what i would be putting in now i do remember i put a upgrade into my lotus that was one thing i was doing because i noticed when i was playing quite a few lotuses and most of them are going to be maxed out so that is going to be a big disadvantage for me if i am using the lotus and it's not maxed out ideally if i had the caterham super light maxed out as well great however I don't. As we go across, I found I was using a few more of my weaker cars. The V12 Vanquish, I was throwing around. I was also throwing the Lotus 340i. If I had two of those, I think that could be quite useful. And when we were coming down looking for kind of a saving car, what was I using? I think I threw in the Ford ST170 to begin with. I know it's going to lose, but it freed up a few more rq points for me to get in another ultra i believe it was that was kind of what i was looking at let me know in the comment section below if you found a car that is pretty solid in this event remember you can have one 2000 car um, i did run the ford gt to begin with I'm not sure that is the best uh i'm gonna have to have a look i did it because i thought it would be half decent for the drag kind of element of it and still have a track presence with 95 handling but yeah, let me know, is there a car that you have found that is either great for saving saving RQ and doing decent holding its own in this event, or if there is a car which is just great for the event? Let me know, see if I've got it and I can introduce it into my team and let everyone else know as well. But for now, that is going to be me. So thank you everyone for watching. Yes, I am still here trying to start saving up on things now. I've got... I've got quite a few cars in my garage because I need to start working on cars, including my lower cars, because that's something I've been neglecting. So the slots are decreasing just because I've got a load of cars stored up to be able to start working. So I'm going to start grinding through that. You'll see my cash starting to go down as we start to work on those cars rather than buying loads of packs. But saving the gold for when we find a pack that we really want to buy could be the bentley to be fair but i think i've got enough at the moment and i'm going to wait a little bit longer so thank you very much everyone i hope you're having a great or i hope you had a great weekend should i say look after yourself and i'll see you all soon